Hey Bingang! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a bill exchange or cash condensing video. In my previous videos, I have a lot of change inside my binders. So I will change them into bigger bills so that my binders will not be that bulky anymore. So yeah, let me start and take out my cash. I have here 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 500, 4,000, 500, 5,000 pesos that we are going to condense today. So I might or might not condense all of the 5,000 pesos. So let's see which binders has a lot of change that I can put out. My savings challenges binder. Let me skip this because I don't have cash in here. So I already unstuffed my passable challenges. If you haven't watched that video, you can check out my channel. I am going to start with my roll the dice challenge. And let's condense 250, 350, 450, 500. 20, 40, 60. So I have 500 here. I'll put this back in my cash tray and change it to a 500 peso bill. So now I have 500, 20, 40, 60. 560 pesos for my roll the dice challenge. Next is my buy it savings challenge for a tablet. So I have here 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So let's change that into a 1,000 peso bill. And I also have here 100, 200. So I'll take back this 200 peso bill. Yeah. So, our 50 peso bills are increasing. So, for my tablet fund, I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 200 pesos. Okay, let's move on to my refrigerator fund. And let's see how much I can condense in this one. So I'll just put down my placeholder bills. I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 500, 1,500. So let's change this into a 1,000 peso bill. So I have 500. I'll just leave the 500 here and this one. I have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. So let's take another 1,000 peso bill. And 100, 200. Yeah. Let's take this one. So now I have... For my refrigerator fund, I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. As I can remember, I should have 12,000 pesos. 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11, 500, 700, 900, 12,000. So yeah, that's the right amount. Next is my 2023 challenge. I have here 200, 400, 500, 600, 2, 4, 6, 8, 720. So, what? How much should I? Oh, yeah. I can remember I have 900 plus here. So, I left another 200 pesos inside. So let's recount that. I have 200, 400, 600, 700, 800, 2, 4, 6, 8, 920. 
So, hmm. Three, four, six. I'll take one five hundred. Hmm. One one hundred. My apologies, guys. This is my second time condensing my bill. So, it's a bit confusing for me. But I'll get a hang of it once I made a lot of videos like this. So, here I have 100, 200. Oh, so, let's take back this one. And 100. Another 100. Also, I'm going to get this and change it to another 200 peso bill so yeah that's it finally now i have 500 700 920 so that's the right amount so yeah i'm done with my savings challenges finder now let's see if i can condense something in my sinking funds minder for emergency, I have 300. So let's leave this here and get a 200 peso bill. I don't want to put back my 200 peso bills in the bank because I'm collecting them. Because they are very rare. I want to see them in my binders. So that's why. Next is my birthday fund. I have here 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 pesos. So I'll just change this one. These 50 peso bills are so old. I'll change that into a new one. So there, I have 900 pesos. Okay. For my parents, Ziploc, I have your 400, but we don't have 200 peso bills anymore, so I'm done with this binder. And let me move on to my long term binder. So, I still have 500 peso bills. So let's change this one. I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Let's leave 300 pesos and take a 500. Okay. That's 800. I seldom stuff my long-term savings binder because... This is where my very, very extra, extra money goes. So, this is just the last choice that I need to stuff whenever I do a cash stuffing video. For my vacation, I have 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 50. Hmm. I'll leave this here. And this, and then get a 500 peso bill. There. So I have 500, 700, 850. I guess that's it. Do I have anything to condense in Christmas? No, I don't have any more. So that's all. My cash that I condensed today. I still have here two 500 peso bills. But yeah, I'm done. And I need to count all of these. And this should be 5,000 pesos. Look at all the cash that's inside my binders. Let me just take a quick thumbnail so that... My my thumbnail will be attractive for you guys. There. Oops, let's move it here. There. Don't fly. Okay. 
I already took a screenshot. So let's count. So I have 1,000. Right here. 1,000 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 2,800 plus 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. That's 1,000 plus 50, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200 pesos. Am I right? Yeah, am I right? 200? Okay, let's see. This should be 5,000. If this is not 5,000, I made a mistake. Okay. Yeah, that's 5,000 pesos. So I am done condensing and I think this is a very short video. So I'm going to take this back to the bank and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a like and comment down below. And also share this video to your friends or to other people so that they may try the cash envelope system and they may want to subscribe to my channel we are almost at 9,000 subscribers because as i have checked before i upload this video i already have 8,500 subscribers so once again thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next one bye